Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, I use nutritional supplements or other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis without intervention, without surgery, without drugs. It does it on its own. It does need its raw materials to do its work. Raw materials we call nutrition and nutritional supplementation. And that's why we're here every day on the Bright Side. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have a health challenge you want help with, if you have questions about formulations or ingredients, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about skin health issues, skin ingredients, if you have questions or if you have a success story about our Truth Skin Health products, 844-236-6010, we'd, we'd love to hear from you. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com, take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Omega-6 Healing Cream, or our Truth Balm, never any preservatives, never any fragrance, never wax filler, water, silicon, oil, stuff you don't need. That's my promise to you. That's why I called it the truth. All our ingredients are functional and active. They do something for you. And shouldn't it be that way? Why should you have to pay for 90% bull crap, which is what most creams and lotions are? It's offensive. Anyway, truthtreatments.com, truth truthtreatments.com. Check it out especially the retinol 5% gel. If you want to purchase any of our, our longevity products, please go to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. Or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side. Once again, we've been talking about inflammation. Last, uh, last program, we talked about blood inflammation. We don't often think of the blood as a kind of tissue or a structure, but technically, it's a liquid tissue. It's a structure in the body. The blood is a structure, and the same inflammatory processes that take place in the various organs of the body and various tissues of the body, the kind of inflammation, micro-inflammation that we talk about on this program all the time, or macro-inflammation, the kind of inflammation we hear about, the kind of inflammation we think we know about. We don't always know what we're talking about when we say inflammation, but the kind of inflammation that we refer to on this program and in, in the culture happens in the blood. And it's a major, major, major problem. In fact, the leading blood, uh, the leading, uh, among the leading prescription drugs, at least in terms of, of dollars, are blood thinning drugs. Blood thinning drugs are anti-inflammatories for the blood. Blood thinning drugs are Motrin for the blood. It's the same thing that's happening. You guys see how the same patterns repeat themselves over and over again, which is why I always say we don't need specialists specialists and special diseases and special health issues and special diagnoses, the same basic things happen underneath all chronic degenerative disease, the same basic functions, the same basic chemistry happens behind all health misery. Even accelerated aging, everything from hyperpigmentation to acne to heart disease to diabetes, it's all the same thing. And that is, my friends, the best news anybody could ever hear if they're dealing with a chronic long-term degenerative disease, i.e. chronic long-term health misery. 
it's the same stuff. And specialists, I, I don't want to get off on doctors, but I'm telling you, there's a special place in, in my, uh, in how ticked off I get about doctors anyway, when it comes to specialists. How dare there be specialists? Specialists. Has any specialist ever helped anybody? Has any specialist ever cured anybody's or reversed anybody's special disease? Anyway, the same kind of inflammation that's behind arthritis, is behind kidney disease, is behind diabetes, is behind it all. And it starts in the blood. The same kind of inflammation that's in our joints when we have arthritis is in our blood when we have a chronic degenerative disease. The same kind of inflammation that's a protective response marked by the four signs, the four cardinal signs of inflammation, heat, pain, swelling, and redness, or if you like Latin, dolor, calor, tumor, and rubor, pain, heat, swelling, and redness, or growth, or puffiness, and, and redness. The same thing that happens in the joints when you have arthritis happens in the blood. We always say the body's made up of cells and stuff. The blood is made up of cells and stuff. You got the red cell, the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and then you got the stuff, the proteins and the, and the fluid. The fluid is a kind of tissue. It's a liquid tissue. And the blood, which is about seven or eight percent of the average body weight, aside from the cells, the red blood cells and the white, uh, white blood cells, is technically stuff. It's like bone. It's liquid bone. It's like collagen. It's like liquid collagen, liquid tissue. That's kind of interesting when you think about it. It's a liquid solid. It's liquid stuff, circulating solid, a circulating tissue. The blood is the life. The blood is the life. It's the sacred space. First of all, the blood is conducting electrical energy. We are electrical beings. You know, we talk about chemistry all the time on this program, and if you've been listening to this program for any length of time, you're a chemist. You know, you may not have a chemistry degree, but if you've been listening to this program you are a, and getting it, you're a chemist. And I love chemistry. I especially love biochemistry. When I first heard about biochemistry or first, you know, Biochem 101 in pharmacy school, I was floored. I had no idea that all that stuff was happening in the body, all that chemistry is going on in the body. And I, my mission in life, one of my missions in life, is to have everybody appreciate biochemistry like I do. And I know there are a lot of folks like that. But even more fundamentally than chemistry, it's about electricity. Yes, we're biochemical beings, but the biochemistry works by electricity. That's right, chemistry works by electricity. Electricity is the fundamental biological force. If you want to dig deeper, you can go into the, you know, physicists say there's four major forces. A force is a kind of thing that nobody understands. It's the fundamental action in the universe. The fundamental actions in the universe, there's four of them. And physicists are obsessed with trying to figure out what they all have in common. They haven't been able to figure it out yet. That's called unified theory. Uh, that's called uh, the grand, uh, grand unifying theory, the GUT, G-U-T. They're trying to figure out how the heck these four fundamental things, I'm going to call them things, they call them forces, how they all work together. But in the body, the four forces, by the way, there uh, two of them involve quantum. I'm not going to get into that. They call it the strong force and the weak force. But the two that are fundamentally important for us as biological, where we have control anyway, is gravity, which affects the body, but primarily electromagnetism. We are electromagnetic beings. One of the great health crises that nobody's talking about, or great, uh, great health challenges that the human body has had to confront in the last 150 years is our manipulation of electromagnetics. Today, we're swimming in an ocean of electromagnetics that didn't exist a mere 100 years ago. Can you imagine if you had the eyes to see the electromagnetic energy that we, you know, the, the universe is electromagnetic energy anyway, but we, radio waves and, and microwaves and x-rays and, and television waves, you know, as you're standing there or sitting there, as the case may be, channel two is going right through your body, channel three and, and 850 KOA and, you know, uh, uh, 630 KHOW and all these radio waves and television waves and, and, and uh, uh, electromagnetic energy coming from the telephone and the computer and every, uh, even light bulbs. We're swimming in electromagnetic energy. So understanding the electromagnetics of the body is also important and the blood is majorly electromagnetic. It's generating an electrical charge as it's moving, which is why we need to move, which is why inflamed blood is such a problem. It slows down the electrical energy in the body. And that can't help, my friends, but lead to disease. Tell that to your next specialist who wants to put you on a drug. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be, back. We'll be back. You are listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. You can also head over to benfuchsarchives.com and search that archive page as well. We've got the search engine if you miss a program or you want, you're interested in a particular subject or topic. One thing I will guarantee you, if you're listening to this program or listening to the archives, you will be smarter. You will be a better, smarter person, better by, and when I say better, I mean better in terms of being able to control your life, your biochemistry. This is a program for smart people. And we got lots and lots and lots of original health information, stuff you don't hear anywhere else on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, also pharmacistben.com, years of archives. We're here every day doing the same thing, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you want to get paid to help spread the word about how important and powerful a good nutritional supplement program can be, if you want to get paid to share the message, products, ideas, protocols, strategies, concepts with your friends, you want to join my team. Call 866-735-2470. Tell me you want to join the Brightside Bend team. We can do this together. We can change the world one person at a time. And I know many of you guys listening to this program are doing just that, changing the lives of your friends, your loved ones, changing your life with this information and products as well. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Healthy Start Pack, the Biolumin Nightly Essence. You could find out all about it by calling the Brightside Bend phone team at 866-735-2470 or you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and uh, check out the products right off the website. All right, so we're talking about the blood. Blood inflammation is like arthritis of the blood and it is the key to understanding disease. The blood is the sacred space. It's the life. It's the only part of the body that reaches every one of the 100 trillion cells of the body. The blood contacts every one of the 100 trillion cells of the body. That's amazing, and that's what makes it the single most important component in the body. But blood diseases, blood clotting, they call it blood clotting, but really it's blood inflammation, is a big, big problem. Go If you look at the top 10 list of drugs every year, it used to be warfarin, now it's uh, Embrel and Pradaxa, and, not Embrel, but Pradaxa and Eliquis, Xarelto. These are all blood thinning drugs, and they're nasty, 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 because the blood's not supposed to be modified with drugs. It's tightly regulated, highly protected. When we say all disease is cell disease, it's true, but all cell disease is preceded, pre preceded by dirty, toxic, inflamed blood, which is clotted blood. Your blood will clot under emergency conditions. That's why they give you blood thinners when you leave the hospital after surgery. The first thing they do when you come out of surgery is give you a blood thinner. Why? Because your blood is freaked out. Your body's freaked out. It doesn't know it was on a surgical table. It thinks it was just eaten by a tiger. From a biochemical perspective, a surgical procedure is like being eaten by a wild animal. And all the chemistry of being eaten by a wild animal kicks in, including clotting the blood. So they give you blood thinners. And then they tell you not to take your vitamin E and omega-3s because they'll thin the blood too much. If any doctor ever tells you that, you should, in your imagination, picture a bone on top of his head. And every time you look at him, look at him like he's a bonehead. If he ever tells you not to take omega-3s and vitamin E when you're sick, when you're surgically manipulated, or surg and I'm not saying, obviously, there's times you need surgery. But you need omega-3s and you need, need vitamin E because they're essential. And there's never a time you don't want an essential nutrient. Well, a couple days ago, somebody was asking on the program about something called glutamine. And the glutamine is a, not an essential nutrient, but it's conditionally essential. And there are some doctors, no names, who are saying don't use glutamine because it feeds cancer cells, because it's an excitotoxin, blah, 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 blah. Negative. It's a conditionally essential nutrient that you need. You always need your essential nutrients and pretty much always need your conditionally essential nutrients, which include glutamine. Anyway, the, gut is the, key, or the blood is the key, and the gut is the entrance into the blood. 
That's why we talk about the gut so much, right there in a nutshell. All diseases sell disease. All cell disease is preceded by dirty blood, and dirty blood is a function of a broken down digestive lining. Unless you're injecting stuff 